Artificial intelligence has unarguably, undoubtedly been the hottest investing trend in 2024. So with that being said, C3 AI stock is down 44% off the high. So what gives? You're an AI company in an investing environment when AI is the hottest investing trend there is, and yet your stock price is down 44%. Does that mean this is a buying opportunity? Or is there something not right with C3 AI? So that's the question I'll answer in this video, evaluating the company's revenue and balance sheet and valuation and the prospects going forward to determine if this is a buying opportunity for investors or if there's just something not yet bouncing higher for C3 AI, even though the AI industry itself is moving upwards. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so looking at the company's revenue going back three years, you notice an upward trend here for revenue, 296 million in the most recent trailing 12 month period, up from around 170 million, 180 million in the trailing 12 month period in early, early 2021. So. It is demonstrating growth, revenue growth, not the issue here. Although it was an issue for C3 AI about a year ago when year over year revenue growth was going backwards, it has since fixed those issues and reaccelerated revenue growth. And now that's not an issue. So that's one, one less concern for investors here with C3 AI. What is troubling is the negative cash flow from operations at negative 19.11% in the most recent trailing 12 month period. However, the good sign is that it is moving upward, trending upward after bottoming out at around negative 60% in late 2022, early 2023. It started to make progress upward and negative 19.11%. If it continues onward, it'll be a matter of time before it turns positive in this critical metric. Now, I'll look at the balance sheet a little bit later, but they do have a good balance sheet. So the negative cash flow from operations is not that bad of a concern when you have a strong balance sheet. So if your balance sheet is also weak and you're losing cash flow from operations, that combination can be dangerous. Thankfully, that's not the case for C3 AI. It has a strong balance sheet, which I'll show you in a little bit. I mentioned the balance sheet, 723 million in cash and short-term investments and zero long-term debt, zero long-term debt. So this cash can be a runway for C3 AI and give it time until it turns positive in cash flow from operations and then the business can sustain itself. So it's not in a position where it's gonna need to go to investors and ask investors for money. It could, if it finds an opportunistic situation to raise capital but it doesn't need to and that puts it in a flexible position and that's always good news when you're in a flexible position you're not in a desperate position when you're losing cash flow you're not going to investors and practically begging for money willing to pay any interest rate they're asking just to get some money because you're out of money and you need some capital in any way you can get it that's not the case here with c3 ai not even close what is a concern, however, is the return on invested capital. This metric measures how good a company is at taking investor money and turning it into projects and products and services that generate returns on that capital. So far, C3 AI has not done that and it's moving in the opposite direction. Negative 29.42% in the most recent period, down from around 15, negative 15, negative uh, 12% in early 2022. So C3 AI hasn't demonstrated the capability to take investor capital and turn it into products and services it can sell effectively at a sufficient profit mar margin to pay back investors for giving the company money. That 700 million the company has on the balance sheet, that came from investors because the company hasn't earned any money. It's been losing money ever since it started. It's been negative in cash flow from operations in the period we looked at. So that money, that cash came from investors. And so it's got to generate returns to pay back investors. Otherwise, investors are missing out. They could be putting that money 
somewhere else, even in just super safe government bonds generating 5%, they could have been making 5% on that year, on that money every year, whereas they're giving it to C3AI and the company has yet to generate profits and yet to generate cash flow. And so that's a missed opportunity for investors and that reduces the return on invested capital. And unfortunately, this metric is moving in the wrong direction. Now, over the next five years, investors are extremely bullish about C3 AI. The analysts that are following C3 AI stock, they think it's going to increase its earnings per share by 51% per year over the next five years. Now, that's going to be a dramatic improvement considering this year it's expected to go negative 57%. So analysts are having a lot of faith in C3AI's ability to turn things around, become positive on the bottom line, and accelerate that profit growth over the next five years. I personally haven't seen enough evidence of that to be confident that the company can achieve this. But the analysts on Wall Street that are following C3AI stock, they think it can. They're optimistic on C3AI. 51% earnings per share for the next five years, even though negative 57% expected this year, 39% next year, and then 51% overall. So that's a strong rate of growth. That second derivative expectation is very strong for C3 AI. I would take the under on that. If you ask me, would they achieve it or will they not achieve it? I would say they would not achieve it if I if it was a binary ch choice. But Nevertheless, analysts on Wall Street are optimistic on C3 AI. And finally, I wanted to look at valuation. And I chose to use the forward price to sales ratio because the company is negative in cash flow. It's a negative in earnings. And so I was left with very few choices in valuation. And I chose to use the forward price to sales. It's currently trading at a forward price to sales of 6.9. This is near the lowest you've been able to buy this stock. Over the last oh three years or so, it's traded at a higher valuation, only hitting lower points oh, a couple of times in the last uh, three years or so. Nevertheless, if you were to ask me if this is a buying opportunity for C3 AI or if this is something that investors need to just wait on and just put on the watch list and uh, wait and watch, I would say it's closer to the second. I would say it's closer to a hold or a market perform and not a buy. So I would not advise investors to buy. I don't think this is a buying opportunity. I think the stock is down for a reason. It's underperformed the industry. It's generating revenue growth, but that revenue growth is not effective. It's not generating enough growth in revenue. It's not generating enough increase in profitability, increase in cash flow to offset the amount of capital invested in the company and the amount that investors require as a rate of return for this stock. So I would wait and see. I want to see continued improvement, continued progress on improving that cash flow from operations metric. I want to see stronger demand for consumers for its product. And I want to see that sales come in at a rate that generates profitability. I don't want to see the company just giving away its product at such low prices that it continues losing money on the bottom line did you know that over 90 percent of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed it'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button and oh by the way one of the benefits of being subscribed is that i take requests from subscribers more often than i do from non-subscribers so if you prefer that benefit please subscribe to the channel